So yeah. to make your fin, if you're making a real finished product, you're talking D1 down there in the lower 48, we call it type two. Uh -huh. You're making that type of material. Yeah, you're gonna wanna run it through some type of screen, shaker bar, something yeah. to, to pull out. Cause you're always gonna end up with oversize. Even with impact crushers that I've used, you always end up with a little bit of oversize. Right. And you gotta have something to pull that stuff out so you can get your spec material that you need. Now, say, and that makes sense. Cause even we, we got a cone and we okay. we run it across a you know a one inch or three quarter screen and then the reject puts the research and goes exactly. Back to so it's the same same idea. Right. You know, with our crusher, you're, you're doing the same idea except for having to take the two three trucks to get that cone and all the other conveyor belts and everything go out there. Come out with this and maybe a small shaker screen. You go out there, you start making your two. You have to have one of those come one of your wings off that shaker bar come out over there and come back to where the excavator can grab it and you're now constantly refeeding any of those rejects come over there and running it through again yeah you know so you end up making that that finer material that you need for the d1 for you doing your roads and you know doing your pavement you know that's what, I'm, that's what you guys are using that d1 for right so, right yeah for, for a base portion yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you know, you get stuff like, I'll make do this stuff all day bigger, the, like maybe one or two shims out of there. For all those guys doing your concrete, you know, your sidewalk, driveways, all that stuff, I'll, I'll put them at two inch, two more than this, and go. The other thing we have too, is we've got our skids here. It's nowhere near the production of this. But, you know, it's one of those ones that you can come through and, you know, you're doing your patch jobs, doing some of those smaller things on there. You could take that asphalt, crush it up to, it goes uh, one shim small in this to a half inch. Okay. So you got the smaller patch jobs you're doing, maybe you're doing some uh, tear out across the road when you're doing a pipeline or something like that. Uh -huh. You know, you could crush that stuff up right there and be able to use that even in a recycled hot mix right there with some of the some of the new machines that are out there for pressing the asphalt. Yeah. So it gives you many more options to get your material there on your job site. You know, with that, you can take up to a 15-inch slab as wide as I We've had that crush in, you know, the 1,800 PSI railroad ties? That thing will crush that. Okay. So, you're, you know, it'll take, yeah, those concrete ones, and that's three wide in there. So, we'll have all three run through there, and it'll crush them. It takes some time just because there's not as much weight, but, you know, it, it'll crush through it.